African Confederation Cup final. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the day. It is the first leg. There's two legs. So it is the first leg. And you can see we're on the past winners. We are playing Wadi Degla. You can see that three years ago we were the runners-up. We lost against Sundown. I wasn't in charge then. And then we last won it in 2022. You can see Wadi Degla have never made it this far before. My cat is now walking into the room, probably thinking, who the hell are you talking to? He's looking at me very strange. But we have a little bit more experience than Wadi Degla. I would say Wadi Degla are a little bit better than us now. Unfortunately, it pains me to say. My cat has just jumped on the table at the side of me. But they are, they are the champions. They are second in the league. We're fourth in the league, so that's not too bad. But I think they're a little bit, just a little bit better than us at the moment, unfortunately. I think um, I think we can catch them. I think today's going to be an interesting game. It's really going to be interesting. I've looked at their squad. They have more people registered than we have, meaning, obviously, we due to that, losing a lot of our key players over the summer, they've, they've not done that. They have lost a decent player here who's gone to Sporting. He looks a pretty good... Um, it looks a pretty good defensive midfielder, the centre centre back. So they've lost him, but other than that, they've kept the majority of their squad. Whereas we've lost quite a few players. But we are going to quickly get into what's happened since the last episode, which um, was the turnaround in the um, semi-final. We then beat ENPPI. I think it's something about your PPI, payment protection um, insurance. I don't know. We beat them three-one quite comfortably. But this Jordan Opang, Ghanaian striker. Maybe one of the players that we bring in because we really do need a goal scorer, and maybe is the one of the player that one of the players I am looking at if I can bring um, some money in. We then follow that up with a huge win against uh, league not leaguers um, rivals Al Halai, which on the same city of Cairo. Huge game. Ham Hamad Hamad Fateh, left winger, scored a great goal, and um, I was just cheering. Then a friendly in between the two games just to bring some fitness, keep the fitness up, and to bring in some some money through the, the, the turnstiles. Then we followed that up with an embarrassing loss. We were 2 0 up, as you can see. Sorbe and Ag Ishmael Magby getting two goals in 14 in the first 24 minutes. My cat's knocking stuff off the table just to piss me off. But as you can see, it all went wrong and we fucking lost 3 2. I was not happy. Luckily, then we got back onto the winning track again. Another goal with Hamad Fateh. 2 1 win against Ansar. Fate again on the score sheet. You can see playing at left hand side, he's absolutely smashing in the goals. And then we just beat another rival in the league, Ishmaeli, which is really, really good. We've been really well against the big clubs. Just sometimes against the smaller clubs, we don't seem to be on full cylinders. Um, which leaves me confident today, though. It gives me pretty confidence today. Um, Sarbe and the Sheriff getting a goal for us there. So we're going to quickly go into the tactic and we're going to play, obviously, a weakened side again. But we can go with it. Sayam is in goal. Monsor, Sayad, Mossad, and Marus is the back four. Fateh and Hassan are in there. Sayad is going to play. Is the natural wag, only natural ringle we've got. He's going to play his shit, but he's just going to play there. Diaby is in the between the, behind the striker. Hamad on the left, and up front is Sa Sorbe, who is just a natural. Well, he's not a natural advance. He's not an advance advance forward, but he's better as an advance forward than. Um, the sheriff, so hence how we've gone with him. But I think the sheriff, I'm debating about. I'm debating it. I really am. What have we done here? That's wrong. He can't. He can't play. To put have to play a, a great out goalkeeper on the bench apparently. But um, yeah, I'm debating. Debating. It's going to be a tight game, but I think there's a man that might lose this. Oh, we're, we're not the favourites. I didn't think we would be favourites, but I think we can do it. We're away from home, but I think if we can do a decent result here, we can. We can do it. We can do it. Milo. Sorry for the cat destroying that he's not getting attention, so he's moving the Skyrim all around. But as I was just saying, I think we can if we can get a decent result today, not win, but get a draw. Maybe maybe a win, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what can happen? The sheriff is what well, the sheriff is also what I was talking about. And that was saying I may offer him out. I don't think we can get much for him. I regret bringing him in, unfortunately. Um, he just wasn't the signing I think we needed to make. I may have to sell him. He definitely doesn't suit the way we're playing now. He doesn't suit that way at all. So I may have to think about that as we've won the ball back there. Quite nervous. I was about to get quite nervous then as he was coming forward with some force. They've won it back though. 
Number 12, Dembele, for them, he's actually... Um, apparently, he's knackered. I was looking at their game, the, the team before the game, he was knackered. So, hopefully, he has to go off because he's a quite a key player for them. Um, there's got an injury midfield already as well. 17 minutes gone. I'd say we're under a little bit of pressure looking at the stats and looking at the highlights so far. But let's see what happens when we have the ball now. Fate coming forward. We just need a stronger side in this game. Really do. It's going to be hard. Fate again with the ball. Sorbet really out of position. Can he find a pass? Come on. Thread it through. Come on. Here we go. One. Oh. Hamad there. Really not an actual left hand side winger. But he's a striker. I was hoping he would just slot that past the goalkeeper there. That was nearly goal as well. Had two really good chances there. They've not gone down. As, they've gone one. Has, one has gone down as a clear cut chance. We've had all shots have been on target, which is positive. It okay, it's changed now. But we may just get one chance, and we may just slot it past them. Looking at fitness, they're looking more tired, and we're going to use that to our advantage. Call me mad, call me crazy. We're going to use that to our advantage. We're going to stay standard because they're quite a standard team as well. So I didn't want to. I wasn't sure if to go counter-attacking or go control. We're going to stay with standard. And what we're going to do is we're going to play a little bit higher tempo. Because they are looking tired. So let's we've tired them out. And what we'll do is we'll just go out there. And hope we can now, with a little bit higher tempo, we can just get that goal that we need to put us in the driving seat. And then we go to our ground and hopefully win the Confederation Cup. Which would just be huge. It would be massive. And it was... I was thinking, what did Eglar have qualified for the Champions League? So even if we lose... We should, should, they've scored, they've scored. They've scored. We should get Confederation Cup football, right, despite what happens. I don't know if that, I, I'm guessing, I don't know if it's going to work, but the winner gets the Confederation Cup football, so he doesn't, so I don't know, we'll see. But I don't want to watch it in 3D, I don't want to watch it. We're 1-0 down. No, no, no. It's so even. Let's see what happens. Oh, they're coming forward with the ball again. Don't be a second goal. Come on. Oh, come on. Clear it, clear it. Oh, no. It's a mistake there. It's a fluke goal. It's pinged off Fate's head. 2 0 down. Tired legs all over the park. Of course there is. Let's bring a target man on. Let's pump the ball into the box. We've got no wingers to bring on really. Absolutely no wingers to bring us an actual pace on. It's over obviously. It's gone. It's done. Uh, Hamad's not having a good game. Can either of them play? No, they can't. But we'll bring on Abdel Hamid and playing well out of position. Play him as a left-handed sided winger, and just see if he can if he can pop up with a goal. Maybe an away goal would be great, but it's not going to happen. It's 78 minutes gone. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. Can we come back to our stadium and turn this around? I don't know. Here we go, Sorbe. Full time. So I've been scratching my head. What the hell do we do against Wadi Degla? What do we do? What do we do? We're 2 0 down. It's a Confederation Cup final, whatever it's called. We're going attacking, okay? We're going attacking. We're just going to attack. They're going to play that stupid 3 5 2 formation. We're just going to attack, okay? We're going to play with a target man up front on attack. I'm going to play fucking. Longer balls, pump the ball into the box, and just hope and pray that something happens. It's probably not going to happen. We're probably out. Hassan is suspended for this game, so Kamal's come in. Uh, I think that's the only kind of change. Sorbe plays out on the right hand side, and I think that's the only change. That's the only change we can make. Now imagine we could select all these players down here. Imagine how different it would be. Well, we just beat the team that were top of the league. Uh, this lad, these lads here, they were top of the league. I think due to games in hand and stuff, we just beat them very comfortably, three 0 Again, Fate. Imagine I can play here. I don't think I've shown him that much. Nineteen-year-old coming through our um, academy. 
He's absolutely smashing it this season. He's got seven starts, six goals. He's constantly scoring. I have to win the league on it unless he's going to be unhappy this season, unfortunately. His contract is up. He won't sign a fucking new one, which is a thing with a few players that I'm worried about. So we're going to lose a couple of our really good players over this summer. We really are. But just imagine we had our, key just our good players. Imagine we could select them. Also, our, our new Ivorian attacking midfield got a goal in that game as well. Obviously, can't select him either. It's it, it winds me up. But if we stay, if we stay, I'm planning on staying. But I was asked in the comments in the last video, uh, would I would have interested in a move? If we're still here, because we might be sacked, or we might just have to move because the team's depleted due to no one signing a new contract. If we stay, then next summer, no matter what happens. Or whenever we're next in the comp whenever we're next in the semi-final of a comp competition like this, I ain't selling nobody. No matter what happens, I'm just not selling anybody because it just it just fucks you up. I don't know what I've just said in that team talk. Then I don't know what I've just said. <laughs> but anyway, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. They're looking a little bit more tired than us. Obviously, that's one good thing about having kind of two squads. You can kind of do this. We can rotate the team a lot better than they can. They're looking very tired. But it has been 45 minutes and not a fucking thing has happened. We've got a penalty, I believe. We have got a penalty. Can we score from it? Number 20 is going forward. I think that's Sorbe, isn't it? No, it's Ahmed, who I think... I don't know if he can take penalties. I don't know. I think he can. He's, he can't. He can't take penalties. No, he can't. Now, this is where I would like the team talk to say... You don't give a shit, dear boys. You don't give a fucking shit. I'm going to be aggressive. I'm just going to say... <laughs> I expect so much better of you. I can't say anything other than that. I expect... Wake up. <laughs> fucking wake up. <laughs> We're just not bothered to get... Out. I'm just... I, I hate this game. I, I've got my headphones on still. I don't know if you've ever seen them on YouTube with the headphones on before. <laughs> Sometimes I have music on, so I just play footmarch with headphones on. Don't ask. But I'm, I mean, no, he's been sent off now. I don't really care because it. I don't care. I don't. Look at the stats. We're playing better. I don't care. I hate this game. Why do I play it? It's so stressful at times. Come on. Come on, please. That's a poor pass. That was a shit pass. They're going to score from this. No, they're not. It's just so frustrating to get so fucking far and just... Like, there's no point changing making changing. There's no point. There's no point. There's no one on that can play foot on the bench that can play football. They're all shit. And Sorbet's injured now, so I'm going to have to fucking take him off anyway because he's got a dead leg. Bring on a fucking shit player. Look at the players I have to play with. You might say I'm making excuses, and I am. But I think it's a justifiable excuse. It's just a shit team. Did that even... There you go. It's just shit. We've lost in the Confederation Cup final. We've not had a fucking single highlight the whole game. It's absolute bollocks. I'm not blaming the game. I'm just I'm I'm just annoyed, frustrated. <laughs> and that's the end of the dream, boys. That is the end of the dream. Question is <sighs> Bollocks. Question is, have we qualified for the Europa League next season? I can't see any kind of I can't see any kind of Can you? Ah well I guess we'll find out guys. There's no kind of message saying we have qualified. Yeah, so we're, we're out of the Confederation Cup. We're fourth in the league. We've got no money to strengthen the team. And we're probably going to lose a lot of our very good players because they won't sign new contracts.
So, look forward to the next episode, guys, when I'm probably going to be pulling my hair out and swearing very lots, lots and lots. I do apologise for swearing so much. If I, did I swear? I don't know if I did. If I did, I apologise. I've forgotten. But thank you for watching, guys. I shall see you in the next episode. Hopefully it's a more cheerful one. Yay!